what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Lou Martinez, a.k.a. Big Chief Burrito, with another episode of Real Review with Big Chief Burrito. Today's Vic, I mean, contestant, I mean, volunteer is George the Chameleon Jack. I call him the Chameleon because he can play like 18 different ethnicities. Uh, and he is um, somebody that I've worked with in the past. So very interested to see how I react to his reel. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video uh, before we get started. If you are not subscribed, we are trying to hit 500 subs before the end of the summer. It's a modest goal you can help us reach. And if you do like this video, share it with your actor friends and let me know in the comment section what kind of videos from an indie filmmaker you would like me to make videos about. All right, anyway, enjoy the real review. So George, Jack, the homie, I've worked with him before on my first feature, Blacklisted back in the day, and also in a recent horror movie, Fallback, that we did together where he had one of the lead roles. Uh, I was supposed to work with him on another film, Shenanigans, but that scene that he was supposed to be in fell through. And now I'm gonna get the chance to take a look at his new reel on his website. Don't you know Jack.com? All right, theatrical, film producer reel, commercial acting reel, hosting reel, stunt fighting reel. What? We got options? I can see all kinds of different aspects of your acting ability, George. That's awesome. All right, we haven't done a commercial acting reel. So I'm guessing, then again, I don't direct a lot of commercials. Eh, this is more about acting. All right, we're gonna go theatrical. We're gonna keep it traditional. Theatrical acting reel. George Jack. Don't you know jack.com backslash ethnically ambiguous hashtag. What's your race? He's going to do it when you go to the dance. Come on, dude. Nerdy hey, Jack. Shut your traps. Coach Jack? Wiggins, okay. move over by the window. High production value. Not seeing you though. And if you don't quit that, I don't game, know that it, mm. I will forcibly remove that pen from your hand and shove it. Maybe down a little bit of them, but we don't need spot. all of them Sorry, to get Mr. the context Mark. of the scene because I mean okay, you can play a nerdy sort of coach. This is, you're playing kind of above your age though here because you're you trying to be both ethnically ambiguous as well guys? as age ambiguous, George? Bring me your pants. You trying to play to uh, trying to play everything from 18 to 39, huh? Richard. My name is Detective Ryan Modell. Okay. Here with me is Detective Christina Moody. Roberts. Detective Roberts is not authorized to speak to you. Any questions you have, you ask me. Detective Roberts' religious beliefs are not our main focus here. Your killings and why you've Zoom killed Zoom this in a little bit, maybe even. That's why you're here, Richard. I feel like I see you, but I'm not seeing now, you. I'm seeing you like small on the screen. I want to see you big on the screen. Questions. I suggest you answer them in the same fashion. There's enough evidence here to put you away for three consecutive life sentences. aren't doing anything in the scene, so you it's kind of like distracting me from a little bit. You talk about the deaths of Karen Alexander. Susan Michaels, Claudia Holmes, Diana Sim. Okay, now this I like. Uh, to whomever this is, is on the other end of this, thank you for your help. I would start with Sorry, this. Sorry, you had to be a pawn in all this. When you see things Because it's different. Down, you're ego like just breaking the fourth wall. You're extraordinarily you know, showing me that funny. you're like loose in your it's skin. Absurd, but it's pathetic at the same time. Control your space. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. I like that last it's, clip. I like this clip. Amazing to be around, great friends. So I think I would go from that last I, fuzzy clip to this clip, and then to the coach, speeches, but, but a very minor part of the coach part. This really means a lot to me. 
And as of right now, I would cut the detective part. Because I think you've done other detective parts that might be stronger than that one. Awesome. Maybe. Cheers. Hmm. No fallback. Bro, where do I know you from? Hey, where do I know him from? I don't know, babe. Where do you know him from? Hey, man. I'm just trying to relax. I get it. I'm trying to stay low, avoid the paparazzi. Babe, he's from that TV show. That's right. That TV show. You're one of those 30 billionaires under 30. Holy shit. Hey, man, we're just trying to stay on the radar. Like, either just be cool or kick rocks, man. Yeah, I'm just here to lay low and... Maybe do some partying? Now don't say party. Unless you mean it. Come on, let's go. Really, we get the same needle for three bodies as we do for four. And we're just gonna leave him here? But now we got five to get us down to Manila. And then another 15 when they find him alive. Come on, he's not even gonna remember our faces. Let's go. It's a strong choice you made there. I would honestly use some of the fallback stuff, like when you're on the couch with uh, Dominic and Sophia, that's a cool scene where you're talking to them, instead of that blurry detective scene. Because even though I can tell you can play that as a range it gives it shows me some of your range it doesn't um doesn't give me unless it's in, in one of your other reels which if it is i don't have that knowledge right now but it you know you're showing me range by playing a cop but you're also showing me that it's not the best production so out of all the clips that i saw there that was the weakest um, so I would start with that fuzzy one where you're looking directly into the screen because that's a cool character. It makes you look like, you know, you got, you, you're got free and you just can, like, kind of uh, control the space and move around well. And then I would move through the rest of those, let's say I said, and then put that coach clip kind of in the middle. Even though the production value of the coach clip is really good, which shows me that you've worked on, uh, you know, higher level of professional sets, like, you know, ultra low budget stuff like that. And that's good for me to know because you're the centerpiece of a scene with eight to 12 actors in it so that part makes you look good but I think that it should be a smaller part of that with a little bit of context from the people around you and then more of you at the desk being that character that would be my perspective so I'll leave all the links to Jovi, Dante, and George's reels below so you can check them out and consider them for your project. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your actor friends. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment. Let me know if you want me to review your reel or what other topics in terms of indie filmmaking you want me to focus on. Thanks for watching. Big Chief Burrito, out.